What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new DIY video for you and today I'm going to show you how to make some unicorn toast butter slime. A couple of you have actually requested me to do butter slime here on my channel before and I honestly just never thought I was going to do it just because there are tons of butter slime videos out on YouTube right now and you know I wanted to make sure that if and when I got around to doing butter slime I would have like a unique take on it so that is what I'm doing today I'm going to be showing you how to turn butter slime into a unicorn toast butter slime the unicorn toast has gone viral all over the internet and Instagram and it's crazy I love it you love it I'm sure that's why you clicked on this video so I'm super excited to show you all how to make this make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me also make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn come join the unicorn fam and you will automatically get a slice of unicorn toast it's just it happens don't forget to hit the little bell icon that is right next to the subscribe button so you can get push notifications sent straight to your phone every time I upload alrighty I think you're ready for this unicorn toast butter slime so let's get started shall we so for this DIY, you're going to need some PVA glue. I have a whole gallon here, but you can definitely just use one bottle. You know that I'm extra and I make slime a lot, so that's why I have a whole gallon. You're also going to need some shaving cream. You will need some model magic clay and you will need some food coloring, of course. And for the bread portion, I'm gonna be using a squishy bread slice, but you can even use like a real slice of bread if you wanted to. I will make sure to include a link down below in the description box to where I found the squishy bread slice, just in case you wanna get the same one and wanna be twins or something. So to start the DIY, I'm gonna take my PVA glue and I'm going to empty that into a large glass bowl that is always 100% what I suggest using when you are making slime it just makes your life a whole lot easier now as far as the glue I am emptying out about four ounces I'm not gonna say it's four ounces exactly but I tried to get it about four ounces because that's how much comes in like a little small bottle of Elmer school glue Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of shaving foam. You don't want to add too much of this because we're not making a fluffy slime, but you want a little bit of it just to give it a little bit of extra texture. You know what I mean? Now, once all of that is mixed together, you can go ahead and start activating your slime. So I'm going to be using some liquid starch as my activator today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it in a little bit at a time and stir it after each time that I add it in. You don't want to add too much of this because it will definitely ruin the slime. So do not do that. Just go ahead and add it a little bit at a time and just work with it as you go along. Eventually, it'll start to come together and you can go in with your hands and knead that puppy like it was bread. And then you'll have a very, very successful slime. And by successful slime, I mean it's not going to stick to you and it shouldn't stick to the bowl either you should be able to like clean up the bowl with a slime basically so now I'm going to go ahead and take the entire package of model magic clay you want equal parts so it's four ounces in a little pack of model magic clay you want to go ahead and start kneading that just to get it a little bit soft and then we're going to add it straight into our slime and just knead it all together butter slime is actually one of my favorite slimes ever and this here is the best part honestly is like mixing the model magic clay with the slime it's just so satisfying because you get to feel the two different textures until they become one it is just so beautiful it's a love story it truly is now if you did these steps correctly you should end up with a butter slime which is so cool and it's dense now i'm just going to split it into five different colors that represent a unicorn which is basic unicorn knowledge so you should know this i chose a rose orange color a pale yellow a pink which is classic i also did a mint green and a purple i said it like that purple and this is just a clip of me spreading the orange slime just so that you all can see that it is a butter slime and it is spreadable. It does spread. Now, can we take a minute to appreciate this squishy real quick? Because this squishy is honestly so soft and it's scented. It smells like chocolate. I don't know why they made it smell like chocolate, but I'm glad they did. I never thought that I needed this. It is so freaking cool. I want to say that I took the last one of these on Amazon, but if there's any more, I will definitely leave the link. That way we could be twins and you can get one for yourself, okay? Now it is time to arrange these slimes in a order of your choice. I mean, you know, every unicorn is beautifully different. So you go ahead and you do you, boo. You find a pattern that works for you. I think mine looks gorgeous and it's just freaking cute. Look at that. Who wouldn't want to play with this, honestly? Thank you. 
Y'all, this was so much fun to make. It is literally my favorite slime that I've ever made ever. It's just so freaking great. I love butter slime. It's one of my favorite slimes and I freaking love unicorns as you all know. So why wouldn't this be my favorite? I'm just saying, y'all need to try this. If you do, make sure you send me some pictures or something because it's cute. Well, that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very freaking much, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Where there is smoke, there is a fire, burning my heart.